So a lot of players, when they go out on court, they end up hurting their arm or they end up missing a lot of their first and second serves in the first couple of points because they don't have the proper serve warm-up. Hey everyone, my name's Tyler, Tennis with Tyler, and today we're going over my go-to serve warm-up. When I played Division I Tennis, when I played every single one of my tournaments and matches, I went through this exact warm-up, okay? So the first thing, you need to get your shoulder warm. Now, I'm not a physical therapist at all, I'm just doing what works for me, but the number one way that I get my shoulder warmed up for the serve is I do a figure eight. So it looks like this. This is my go to serve warm up, okay? Sometimes what you can do is you can put a weight on the tip of your tennis racket to get a little bit more weighted feel. But all I'm doing is I'm bringing the racket around my body. Now, you don't need to slow this down. You don't need to pause it. I'm going to show you how to do this. All you're going to do is do your normal serve, okay? You're going to do your normal serve. And then once you're done and you follow through, instead of stopping, what you're going to do is you're going to do your normal serve. You're going to follow through. And then you're going to bring the racket around. Again, normal serve, follow through, and then just bring the racket around. Normal serve, follow through, bring the racket around. So I'll do 15, I'll do 20, I'll do a lot of these, not only to get my shoulder warm, but to get my nerves out before the match. I really utilize this as a way to just like get in the motion, get fluid, get warmed up, get loose, feel good, right? Here we are. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is what I'd do is I would put my racket down before I even hit a ball. I would get the ball on my dominant hand and I would just throw the ball up in the air. Once again, I'm gonna get some balls and all I'm going to do is throw the ball up in the air. By doing this, this is gonna get my shoulder warm, but also this is going to help and put emphasis on what? On me going up to the ball. In 2013, Rafa Nadal got a private serve lesson from this coach, not his uncle, and he served better in 2013 than he ever did at the US Open. And the reason why is because he had the coach do this exact drill. You'll find a video on YouTube of him doing this. Notice, when I'm doing this, I'm not throwing the ball down and forward like I'm a pitcher. What I'm doing is I'm throwing the ball up in the air. I'm lobbing it, okay? I'm almost trying to throw it up in the air, have it bounce, and then go over the gate. Yes, there we are, first try, okay? You wanna make sure that you go up to the ball. So I'll do five, I'll do 10, I'll do 15 of those. Then after I'm done with that, I'm going to start hitting tennis balls. Now, I am not going full speed. I want you to watch, no matter if I'm playing at Wimbledon, which I never had before, or if I'm playing a local rec match, or even for fun, I'm going to start out like this. Two, two more. One more. So what am I doing? I'm serving super slow and I am just emphasizing going up just like I threw that ball and then following through. I am going super slow and again, I am emphasizing going up and then follow through. I am not going to pick up speed until I get 10 balls in a row. If I get nine and I miss the 10th, what am I doing? I'm starting over again. I am just really slowing it down and focusing on getting my range, getting the ball in, and exaggerating my follow through. A lot of players, when they try to do this, they'll just serve and they'll tap it. That does nothing. You wanna make sure you go up like you're throwing the ball and then you follow through. Now, after I am done that, I am going to start getting into my serve speed. Now here's where players go wrong in matches. They serve their biggest at first. Once again, on level one through 10, 10 being the hardest, they're gonna start out level 10 and try to swing as hard as they can and serve as hard as they can. Even if they make that serve, when you're playing a match, the only place that you can go, if you're serving at your top level now, where's the only place that you can go? you can go down. You can't go up because you are starting at the top. Instead of starting at level 10, I'm going to start out level one like I just did and then work my way up. Well, maybe not level one, but I'm gonna start out at level three or four, okay? I'm going to start out like this. If I'm playing a match right now, my first serve is going to be like this. Again, my first serve is going to 
be like this. I'm not adding so much speed. I'm seeing how my returner can deal with it. And I am setting the bar low so I can climb it during the match. It is a great confidence booster. It's going to help increase your first serve percentage, which is essential during the match. And you're going to see if your opponent can handle that. Say I'm on level four right now and I'm serving like this and I'm winning points. My returner is having a lot of trouble returning these balls. Why am I going to increase my serve speed during the match? I'm not, I'm gonna stay at level four. Now, if the returner is really good or if you know you're playing a really good player, then what are you gonna do? After you get done your first serve, then maybe you're gonna go to level six. So here we are, I'm gonna serve at level six. Here we are. Now, okay, say I made that, here we are. Next one, level seven. One more, I haven't served in forever. This is my first time back on court in a week. Here we are. I'm playing too much pickleball, don't unsubscribe. There we are, okay? So once I start amping up my serve, I'm going to stay maybe at level seven, level eight throughout the match, but then I'm only going to bring out the level nine or level 10 when I'm really feeling it. I'm going to make sure that my shoulder's warm. I'm going to improve my confidence. I'm going to win more points because I have a higher first serve percentage. This is how you want to warm up and approach your serve. Now, if you want even more tips and more tricks, make sure to click the link in my description. I just put out a serve ebook. Put it on sale for you guys just for this video. Click the link in the description. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube. And I'll see you guys next time on court. Happy hitting.